with the new Wall Street Week. Welcome to Wall Street Week, the show of record for long-term investing. I'm Anthony Scaramucci. I'm Gary Kaminsky. There's no denying it. Eight years after the financial crisis, the markets continue to move based on what the Fed says it will or won't do. It's true. In this month, the market's falling when investors thought a rate hike would come in June. And then recently, some big rallies when sentiment shifted accepting the possible rate hike. Keith Banks is the president of U.S. Trust Bank America Wealth Management. Rick Scheltz is a managing director and wealth advisor from Newberger Berman. Welcome to the show, guys. Good to be here. Thank you. Keith, Thank I'll start you. with you. It's eight sure. years later. Is it still all about the Fed? I think it's all about the Fed. I think it's even more about earnings. You know, we view at Anthony right now that the P.E. multiples around 17 times. They're not going to expand much from here. So to make a case for higher levels in the market, you have to make a case for stronger earnings. So but a 17 historically is a high number for S&P earnings. So no, isn't typically 15, 16 a fair yeah, evaluation? I, I think it's at the high end of a range. And, and in fact, we just actually at U.S. Trust went more neutral on equities in a, in a tactical allocation shift. And the reason we feel that way is because, again, with multiples at, at full levels, uh, number one, uh, and with, with the summer coming with possible rate hike fears, U.S. presidential election, you got the U.K. referendum, a lot of stuff to worry about, and we think that could cause some, some downside in the markets over the near term, and so we pull back to a more neutral weighting. Rick, what about you? How do you see the world, the markets, the Fed, earnings? Gary, there are no layoffs. At the beginning of this year, when the market dropped 8% in the first two weeks, it was very frightening to investors. They were very concerned about what to do. Some even called and said, should we go to cash? You had a number of firms say that oil might go to 20 or $10 a barrel, 40% chance of recession. There was, there was a lot of anxiety. So today, the recovery from February 11th through the end of uh, March, the, we had a positive return in the S&P of almost 1%. Rick, when you're talking to clients, it's eight years after the financial crisis. Do they feel the palpable pain of the financial crisis, it being almost a decade away from us? It's a scar, not a wound. Yeah, exactly. Right. It really is. It really is still there. Yeah. And when you see the volatility which we had in January, we had almost 65 percent of the trading days that market moved plus or minus one percent. And when you see that visibly on all the shows throughout mm -hmm. the day, clients, investors get concerned, especially when they invest irreplaceable wealth. Keith, do Keith, you right see there. the same at U.S. Trust? You see the clients continue to look at 2008. It's fresh in their mind every day? It's there. Uh, it's, it's not paralyzing them, but it's there. And I think the way it's manifested itself with our client base and it's been consistent with our strategy is we want to be fully diversified. Uh, we've seen a real increased interest in tangible assets, uh, things like real estate, farmland, timberland. People like those kinds of assets because, number one, there's a low correlation to financial assets, which is good, especially, to your point, Anthony, eight years in. And number two, uh, people do believe when inflation comes back, it's a good hedge. I'll address that because eight years in means there's a likely recession on the horizon, right? Because our economy goes into recession roughly every seven years over the last 80. Is, yeah. that, what you, is that what you're re referencing? Well, we're saying, actually, we think we could be looking at another two or three years of, of continued expansion mm -hmm. in both the economy and, and growth in the markets, because what you're not seeing uh, this far in are the typical excesses. Interesting point, average hourly earnings typically at this stage of the cycle would be growing in excess of 3% closer to 2 percent. We don't see 3 percent average hourly earnings growth for another 12 months, and the danger zone typically has been 4 percent. We don't see that happening out until probably 2018, 2019, which means the Fed doesn't have to rear up and, and, and try to slow things down, and the big catalyst for all of that is inflation this many years in still being so low. Amazing. Rick, let's take it to clients. I've had the opportunity over the years to work with you and work directly with your clients, and you've got incredible relationships. Thank you. Keith mentioned about uh, the election, as, as, as well as a number of other issues this summer. I have to imagine, you get a lot of calls these days, clients asking you about how that's going to impact portfolios, the market. What do you tell them? Well, I mean, it's a boom for the 24-hour news channels, right? Well, we oh, love it over here. Yes, yeah. we do. <laughs> yeah. Every, the cable guys are good. Yeah. Thank you, Everybody cable guys. Everybody is loving right. this election because you don't even have to have another agenda because the election gives you enough to talk about almost every single day. 
So when you see that, that in, when, as an investor, you hear that, it an, creates anxiety. The only thing you can really do, because none of us even expected to be in this situation, right. and now where do you go from here, is you have to protect your portfolios in a way of being more defensive and focusing more on yield than growth. So are you doing that now, or are you waiting to see what happens in November? No, I think uh, tactically you're doing it now. Right. Is this 1980, Keith? Where people have something to fear, but they don't really have something to fear? You know, it's interesting. This has been, despite the fact that this, this economic expansion and the bull market has gone on for so long, it's been the most joyless <laughs> period of money making I've ever experienced. And it yep. gets back a little bit to the question you two have asked, which is, is it 2008? People just keep worrying about the next thing that could come. Next there's been, down. there's been a lot of things that people have been given to worry about. Fortunately, except for some brief pullbacks, and we saw one at the beginning of this year, it's not been sustained and the rally continued. All right, Keith and Rick, stay with us. We'll be right back with more.